Hi students, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to find, download, open, and take the uh, IBMYPE assessment. So uh, this video will walk you through the whole process if you want to download past exams to study for your MYPE assessment that's coming up. Now, just so you know, I'm going to edit this video. I'm going to speed up some parts. I'm going to cut out parts of the downloading and uploading so the video goes faster. So just be aware that when you do this, it may take a little bit more time than what you see here. Okay, so I'm going to be starting today. You can see I'm on a Windows machine. So I'm going to be showing you first how to do this on Windows. Let's jump over here into uh, Google Drive, and then you're come, gonna come down to Shared Drives on the left-hand side. In Shared Drives, you are going to see that there's been a drive shared with you called MYPE Assessment. Open that up. And in MYPE Assessment, there is a folder called 2019 Sample Exams. Let's open that one up. Now you've got two different sets of exams here that you can practice with, May 2019 and November 2019. So there's two sets of exams. So you can take the math exam twice or the individuals and societies exam twice. Let's open up May. All right, and here are all the files for you. So you can find the appropriate class that you want to study for, May 19 English, Language and Literature. And it also tells you in parentheses what operating system it is. So remember, I'm on a PC. So let's pick one for the PC. Here's the May 2019 Integrated Societies uh, exam. I'm going to click here. And no preview available. I'm going to download. Download anyway. One of the reasons why we're sharing this with you via Google Drive is because it'll download much faster. OK, the file is downloaded. I can see it here on my browser bar on the bottom left. I'm going to double click it to open the program. Windows protect your PC. Let's go to more info. And now we're going to click run anyway. All right. International Baccalaureate is now opening up. And here are all of the details. Okay, so our school code is going to be capital ABC123. Candidate code is the same, capital ABC123. And the access code is 9999, quadruple 9. Let's go unlock. Okay, you're going to enter your first name. This really doesn't matter. Dale Plutsky. And school code, I think we'll just go with... 9999 submit. Okay. So now it says the on screen examination is not yet started. Your time will begin once you click start. You can go ahead and read all of this, and we're going to go ahead and click on start. Okay, great. So now I'm actually inside of the testing platform, and I can start answering questions. Okay. So we can click on a question. There's a video I need to watch, so I can click here. The video will start playing pretty nice. And here I can state a form of energy produced by a lighthouse. The first lighthouse consisted of bonfires, so I'd answer probably from the question, and I would just scroll through answering these questions, okay? When you're ready to exit, you have the option here to click on this down caret icon and go ahead and quit, click on quit. So we're ending it there. Okay, and now let's take a look at how we're going to do this on a Mac. Okay, so here I am. You can see I'm using a Mac computer. So I'm going to go ahead and go to Google Drive. So here I am in Google Drive, and I'm going to go ahead and go right back to the same place. So let me just ramp this up so you can see it. We're going to go to Shared Drives, MYPE Assessments. And let's hop on down to those sample exams. And let's do the May 2019, or why not? We'll, we'll jump to the November one. Okay. So now you can see that we need to find the right class 
for the Mac operating system. So let's go ahead and do language and literature for November 2019 on a Mac. Okay, double click. We're gonna download. Can't scan for viruses, we're gonna download anyway. And here it comes. Okay, so the download is finished. Very similar, I'm gonna double click on the document and we're going to open it up. Okay, so I need to drag the MY, or MYPE assessment into applications, just like that. Okay, so now the copying to applications is completed. Okay, so it's finished copying over. There's a couple of different ways you can find it. The way I'm going to do is I'm gonna open up Spotlight and I'm gonna search IB uh, and then all of a sudden all the documents I have of IB that come up. So here it is, the language and literature 2019. So let's double click there and we're gonna see it's gonna start opening. So this step, it opens up and it says, it cannot be open because it cannot check it for malicious software. So we need to override this setting. So watch how I do this. I'm gonna come into the Apple icon and I'm gonna scroll down to system preferences. Now in system preferences, I'm gonna go click okay to get rid of that. We're gonna come into security and privacy. And here you can see it, IB English assessment was blocked because it could not be scanned. Here is where you are going to click on open anyway, okay? So now it says, uh, do you wanna open it? You may need to click the lock in order to open up this file and in which case you need to have the admin password for your computer. So if you have that, that's great, but this is something you might need to ask your parents about. I'm gonna go ahead and click on open. All right, so let's go ahead and log into the exam now. Uh, you can play around the language, but obviously I highly recommend you do it in English. School code is capital A, B, C, one, two, three. Candidate code is the same, capital A, B, C, one, two, three. And the access code is nine, 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 nine. Unlock. Now you need to enter in a name. So I'm gonna enter in mine right here. And school code, let's just use nine, 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 nine. Same again. And we're gonna go ahead and click on submit. I'm gonna go continue and start. So now I'm inside of the test. Uh, there's three different tasks. You can click on a task to expand it. The task has text and photos and beside it you have a rich text box where you can add in comments and text. If we scroll down, we see that we have a video embedded. In 166. We can watch the video and comment on it. And when we're finished with this question, we can click on here on the right-hand side and jump to question number two. Question two will load up, images to scroll through, text box to write in. When you're done, you can come up here to the top, to this drop-down menu, click on the carrot icon, and you can go ahead and click, click on quit. Please confirm and quit, just like that. It'll take a minute to close and then you are complete. I hope you found that helpful.